Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I have some fun things to talk about. So I posted this photo on my Instagram and it was just a raw image. I told you guys, it's just a raw image of one year postpartum and losing weight. And since I did have a weight loss channel, lifestyle channel, health channel, that's like really all the things that we talk about on my channel. I've shown you guys different ways to get in shape, to get a flat stomach, to get abs, to do all these different things. And it's just interesting that this time around, it's so much easier for me and sustainable. And I was always one of those people that just thought, oh, after you have a baby, it's 10 times harder losing weight. So I wanted to make a video just sit down and talking about this. I'm also going to show you what I got from Thrive Market because I always do my Thrive Market hauls in every single month in a video. I hope you guys enjoy this video and really, really just like what's changed, like losing weight this time versus losing weight this time. Yeah, where I'm at and how it's just been such a joy for me, so much fun for me. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy today's video. If you're new to my channel, my daughter just turned one. So I'm a year postpartum. It was was crazy. I feel like people talk about it like on Instagram. I go on different pages and there's definitely Instagrams that are dedicated to motherhood and this and that and talking about postpartum, but you just can't really prepare for it until you go through it. Like people can say different things and give you advice and all that, but I feel like everyone's story is so unique and everybody is just goes through a different thing. Just talking about like the physical pain for me, it was like hard to even sit down. So each week I feel like I made improvement and it gave me so much more grace for my body. So prior to that, when before having a baby and all that, I would be hard on myself. I'd be like, oh, like there were certain pictures I didn't post because I didn't feel like I looked fit enough or this enough. And I felt like the culture of YouTube when I first started YouTube, which we're gonna talk a lot about in this video, but when I first started YouTube, it was so different than what it is now. And so a lot of that is like pressures that were put on, like that I felt were put on me and this and that. And I feel like postpartum in a way, in a weird way, pushed me to give my body a lot more grace because I went from somebody like, oh, I don't wanna post that because I don't know if I like the way I look there to somebody like, wow, I can walk to the mailbox today. Like, I feel really good about myself. You just learn to give your body grace and birthing a human is like this whole awesome experience. Birthing her was amazing and you give your body grace because of that because you see like the pain and everything, what you get in the end and it's your baby and they're perfect. And yeah, you just are like, whoa, like, my body made that. That's freaking cool. I wrote down all these tips that I wanted to talk about, like comparing both journeys, the journey before having a baby, the journey since having a baby. And the first thing that I did is I redefined my goals. And this is something that I say to my husband and it just kind of makes us laugh. It's very lighthearted. I don't mean this in a rude way or anything like that, but Jared, we are not bodybuilders. Before I had a baby and when I first started on YouTube and was making health videos and wellness videos and weight loss videos, the culture was very, this was in like 2015, 2016, the culture was very like count macros, does this fit in your macros? There weren't a ton of videos on intuitive eating. People were talking about macros on YouTube at the time and calorie counting. And so I kind of like fell into that. I'd share a recipe and people would say, does this fit in my macros? And how many macros is this? It kind of made me think that that was the way to be, that that's what I had to do. And I did count calories for a while and then I did count macros for a while. And yes, I saw results. The downside of it was I wasn't really enjoying the process. And I just felt like I dreaded the week and I was so excited for my cheat days. And I felt like there was just always restriction. Like that's really how I could describe my diet before is restriction. And yes, there were healthy things about it. Like I started learning about labels and I started learning about healthy food and organic and all of that. So there were good that came from it, from researching health and all that. But I would say the majority of the diet was restriction. My new way of eating and still seeing results is I get to enjoy going out to eat, I get to enjoy restaurants, I get to enjoy cooking at home, and eating pizza and having pizza nights within reason and caring about health and all of that. And you guys are gonna see like how I'm able to do that versus before it was just like a lot of restriction. <laughs> Long-winded way of getting to my point of what I say to my husband that makes us both laugh is this time around we have redefined our goals, him as well. So I'll look at him now and I'll go, when we're talking about our goals or, um, if we're eating certain things and you know, maybe they're not the healthiest, I look at them and I go, Jared, 
we are not bodybuilders and we both just kind of laugh about it and it kind of puts things into perspective for me like okay it's important to have goals yes you can have health and wellness goals but at the end of the day I am not a bodybuilder. I don't need to count macros. This is just my story that I'm sharing, by the way. If that's something you wanna do, go for it. But I'm also allowed to share my perspective and my perspective and what I say to myself is like, not entering a bikini contest, not a bodybuilder. I don't have to be super duper lean to feel my best and to like look in the mirror and like the way I look. I like the way I look. I like my curves. And then that brings me to my second thing is I cannot for the life of me stick to a low carb diet the way I used to. I used to have such discipline and was able to just stick with a low carb diet, see the results, which were great because it got rid of all the bloating and all of that. And even now, you guys will see, I might make a low carb breakfast, but I'm having carbs for dinner. Now that I'm a mom, like if I'm craving carbs or if I'm feeding my daughter pasta, I'm going to eat pasta too. Like we make so many different healthy pastas in my house, like fresh ones. Like I have one that I call the farmer's market pasta and we'll go to the farmer's market literally and get all healthy veggies, everything that's in season. You can make this any time of year, winter, summer, fall and anything that's in season goes into a pasta and it tastes so good and when i'm making that like i'm going to have it too a big part of teaching my daughter how to eat is eating with her and i have her eating a variety of things so that means i'm eating a variety of things and i also think sometimes you need to eat the food that you're craving okay so my third tip and this actually brings me to how i'm actually getting results feel good and have energy and that is intermittent fasting i feel like some people love it, some people hate it. You have to figure out if this is gonna be something for you. Intermittent fasting is not a diet, so it's not something you can do and you're just automatically gonna lose weight because you know you can eat junk food within the window and not lose weight. So it's not a diet, but it's a lifestyle and it's one that 100% I just wanna be doing for a long time. As long as it's feeling good, I wanna keep doing it because, but basically my windows are, I start eating at 12 or 12.30 and I stop around seven at night. So that's my window. And I find that when I am finally eating, so around 12, I don't even have the biggest appetite. So there's just never this like insulin spike where when you finally do have something sweet, you just want like everything sweet or everything salty. And it's not like that. Like I feel like I'm able to eat my portion sizes. It just, it all feels good. It all feels right. In the morning, I just have my black coffee. When you're pregnant, you do put on more weight. And then in the postpartum stage, I was breastfeeding so I was also had more weight on me because of that and like my boobs like everything was just heavier losing a lot of the baby weight has felt so good for me it feels good on my body intermittent fasting has been amazing and especially energy levels with having like a high energy baby or toddler I guess now that she's one she's technically a toddler I just I love intermittent fast. And I recently placed an order with Thrive Market where I got some things for intermittent fast and just having snacks when I finally do break my fast, like just easy things and the iced coffee that I bought. And then um, I also got a creamer that has like zero sugar, carbs, only 10 calories. And yeah, so I'm gonna insert my Thrive Market haul right now. Okay, so I'm so excited about this month's Thrive Box. I feel like everything I bought was for like intermittent fasting and just to really help me with that. So if you're new to Thrive Market, it's an online retail store. And one of my favorite things about it is how you actually search the site. So you can put in keto, you can put in organic and everything will come up. It just makes the shopping experience fun and easy and super quick because it's just like, okay, I want everything dairy free type it in or I want to see what healthy snacks they have that are organic or this time I actually got something for Violet. Um, I got these Happy Top Fiber and Protein Bars. So these are for my daughter um, and it was just super easy. I just typed in like baby snacks, toddler snacks and everything with that came up. And if you're new on your health and wellness journey, I always get questions like where to start, where to shop definitely get a Thrive Market membership. We'll talk more about the membership towards the end. First, I wanna show you guys everything that I got. Okay, so the first thing I got is MCT oil. MCT oil is great for people who are making bulletproof coffee or if you are intermittent fasting because it's going to add fat to your coffee. It's derived from coconut oil, so it's dairy-free, all of that. It's just MCT oil. A lot of people say that it helps them fast longer because when you have fat first thing in the morning, you feel full, but it doesn't 
doesn't raise your insulin. So a lot of people will make bulletproof coffee and they'll add this to their iced coffee or hot coffee. This is something new that I'm trying and I got this for my skin and it's hyaluronic acid. So I love hyaluronic acid in my skincare products, which you guys know. I've never tried it in my diet though. So this is hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, and the flavor is very liquid. And it says it's mixed with water or juice. So if you're a skincare junkie like me, then that's an ingredient you've definitely heard of or actually use. And hyaluronic acid is said to bring the most hydration to your body, to your joints. So not just your skin, but it'll also help your joints. And you start to produce less of that as you get older. So then that's why people like to add it in their skincare products. And I'm trying it in my diet. Okay, so the next thing I got is black iced coffee. So I, I'm trying this cold brew. This is from Khalifa Farms. When I started doing intermittent fasting, I just said, you know what, this time I want to do it right. I don't want to add any cream. And for some reason, black iced coffee tastes better than black hot coffee, in my opinion. Next is Go Macro Bars. And I used to always buy these from Drive Market and I like to get them in the big container like this. And then I will put these in the pantry. I'll even put them in my daughter's diaper bag, my purse. Like I just love having a healthy snack on the go. And I've actually not eaten yet today. It's almost 12. So this is what I'm gonna be breaking my fast with today. And then the next things are for my healthy cookies. So I decided to get almond flour. And this is the Thrive Market brand. And then you guys know I always get the HU chocolate bars, but this time I decided to try the HU chocolate chips. And you guys know I always get this brand and rave about this brand from Thrive Market. And the reason why I love it is because they are vegan, they're organic, they're paleo, there's no soy in them, there's no dairy, no cane sugar, no refined sugar. They're really healthy chocolate chips. And then the last thing I got are nut pods. So when I eventually do add some cream in my coffee, I'm gonna be adding this and I'm never able to find this flavor in the stores. I can only ever find French vanilla in the stores, but on Thrive Market, they have way more flavors. So um, I got caramel. A lot of people love them because they're only 10 calories zero carbs, zero sugar. So that is my haul. That's everything that I got. And I'm actually a Thrive Market member. So what that means is Thrive Market does have a membership program. And so basically you'll get to shop the site. So many of your favorite brands are below retail value when you become a member. So you actually save money when you shop on Thrive Market. And they do have two different membership options. They have the one month membership if you just wanna try it out and it comes to $9.95 a month. And then they have the one year membership Membership, which is what I do and that comes to five dollars a month and when you choose that membership you guys are going to get 25% off your first order plus a free gift so I'll leave that down below in my description box and yeah thank you to Thrive Market for partnering with me okay so my fourth tip is all about workouts so again over here before baby it was just like can't skip a workout I'll lose results I won't see results and now my mentality is has to move my body so every morning I do a walk with my daughter and we do them throughout the day and if I'm not able to get in a like structured workout where it's like a class or weight training or all that if the day was just walking I'm fine with that and I actually took off like an entire week of like structured workout and that week I felt so lean at the end of the week like I was like taking a picture and I was just like whoa and it just made me realize that like skipping a week doesn't make the biggest difference where you have to be hard on yourself as long as you're moving your body. So every morning I'm taking a walk and the evening I'm taking a walk with my dog. For me, the goal is longevity, being healthy for my daughter. For me too, but like I wanna be here for her and I wanna be here and like healthy for her. Just like one week of workouts isn't going to make you like buff and fit and all that, skipping a week of workouts isn't going to change all of your progress. And that mentality has really changed my life. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and listening to what I had to say about it. Really just changing your body comes from changing your mindset. When you can change your mindset, that's when you can change everything else. Wanted to leave you guys with that. Have an awesome day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.